Chapter 5 Analyzing Data in Excel Sorting Sorting data is an essential part of data analysis. It generally means arranging the data in ascending or descending order. You might want to arrange a list of names in alphabetical order, compile a list of product inventory levels from highest to lowest, or order rows by colors or icons. Sorting data helps you to quickly visualize and understand your data better, organize and find the data that you want, and ultimately make more effective decisions. The rows serve as records and columns serve as fields. When you have a data list in Excel, you can sort the list to show particular data. Follow the steps given below to sort the data. Step 1. Select the cell range you want to sort. Step 2. Select the data tab on the ribbon, then click the sort button in sort and filter group. Step 3. The sort dialog box will appear. Choose the column you want to sort by. In our example, we want to sort the data by the marks in English subject. Step 4. Click on the sort by drop down arrow and select the English field. Select the cell values from the sort on drop down list. Select largest to smallest option in order drop down list. Select My Data Has Headers checkbox to exclude the first row containing the column heading for sorting. Step 5. Click OK. The cell range will be sorted according to largest to smallest marks in English subject. Sorting data on multiple criteria. If you need more control over how your data is sorted, you can add multiple levels to any sort. This allows you to sort your data by more than one column. For example, in above database, after sorting by marks in English, you want to arrange the list by roll number. To do so, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on the Add Level button in the Sort dialog box. A new level gets added. Step 2. Click on the Then By drop-down arrow and select the roll number field. Select the cell values from the Sort On drop-down list. Select Smallest to Largest option in Order drop-down list. Step 3. Click OK. The data gets sorted. More levels can be added to the Sort dialog box for the given data. Filtering Filtering is a quick and easy way to find and work with a subset of data in a list. When you filter a list, Excel displays only those rows that meet a set of search conditions called criteria. Filter option does not rearrange a list but temporarily hides rows that you do not want to display. Filter helps to retrieve data to edit, analyze, format or print it. The different types of filters are Auto filter it is used to filter a column or row to view the data based on a specified condition. Custom filter. It is used to filter data based on the multiple criteria. Advanced filter. It is used to filter data based on specific complex criteria. Filter a table using auto filter. You can filter data from a selected range of cells in a worksheet based on a given condition. Step 1. Click any cell with the field name. Click on Filter button in Sort and Filter group under the Data tab. Step 2. Small arrows will be added in the column header. These arrows are used to specify condition to filter the data. Click on the arrow next to Mathematics subject. Uncheck the Select All checkbox to deselect all the checkboxes. Now select the checkboxes. 89 and 92 from the drop-down list, click OK. A filtered list will appear with filter sign on the mathematics heading. The list will display only those records that meet the specified criteria. Filter a table using custom filter. Custom filter is used to filter data based on the multiple conditions. A custom auto filter uses a rule that you create instructing Excel how to evaluate the entries in each row. Let us apply filter to display records of students having marks in English subject equal to 72 and greater than 85. Step 1. 
click the cell with the field name, example, English. Click on Filter button in Sort and Filter group under the Data tab. Step 2. From English drop-down list, select Number filters and then Custom filter. A Custom Auto Filter dialog box will appear. Step 3. Enter the desired conditions, example, English equals 72 or is greater than 85. Click on OK button. Step 4. Excel filters the list according to your conditions. Conditional formatting. Conditional formatting allows you to format the cells based on the set of specified conditions. The formatting of cell can be changed in font, font color, border, highlight and so on. To apply conditional formatting, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select the range of cells on which you want to apply conditional formatting. Step 2. On the Home tab in the Styles group, click the Conditional Formatting command. A drop-down menu will appear. Step 3. Select the desired conditional formatting type, then select the desired rule from the menu that appears. In our example, let us highlight the cells where marks are greater than 85. Step 4. Select the formatting condition and click OK. To clear conditional formatting, choose Clear Rules from the Conditional Formatting sub-menu. Select either of the two options, Clear Rules from Selected Cells or Clear Rules from Entire Sheet. Data Validation Data validation enables you to set limits to data in a certain cell or range of cells. Criteria can be set to double-check cell entries, display a message when a cell is selected or specify an error message when the entry does not meet the criteria. Applying Data Validation In our example, we restrict users to enter the marks of all subjects to a maximum value of 100 and minimum of 0. Step 1. Select all the cells C3 colon G9 to validate. Step 2. Select Data Validation option in Data Tools group under Data tab. A Data Validation dialog box will appear with three tabs. Settings, Input Message and Error Alert. Step 3. Under the Settings tab, select Whole Number option from Allow drop-down list. Step 4. Specify the condition between in Data drop-down list. Step 5. Enter the value 0 in minimum text box and enter 100 in maximum text box. Step 6. Click on the Input Message tab. In Title Text box, type Validation. In Input Message box, type Enter value between 0 and 100. Step 7. Under the Error Alert tab, type Input is wrong in Error Message box. Step 8. Click on OK button. Now you can check the cells by entering the value above 100 or below 0 and see the result with error message. Click retry to enter another value in the cell.